Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So, recently, in the most recent ATV, Chris Roberts started off by just explaining a little more on 3.0 and just addressing the issue. So I want to go over what he said and the changes coming to ATV up until the, the launch of 3.0. Anyway, Chris Roberts said that the majority of 3.0 features are almost complete. They have now shifted into the final phase of the production process, which focuses on feature and content integration, optimization, and bug fixing. He expects a lot of new players and old players picking up the game again once uh, 3.0 is released. And they want to make sure that the user experience is really good, which is why they have decided to spend more time optimizing uh, and getting it ready. But in addition to this, he is hoping to integrate the new Delta patcher so we don't, we won't have to download the 30 gig full game every time. We just download the files we need. But this requires a little fine tuning and testing to ensure that it works as intended. Now he wanted to readdress on the first crevice of the um, studio, the schedule report, which says that quality will always trump schedule. Uh, and they are doing something never been done before, plus the difficulty in estimating bug fixing and optimizing time is why we don't have 3.0 now. They will continue to update the schedule with what is happening no matter how good or bad the updates may be, but it's the nature of uh, game development. It can be exhilarating, frustrating and unpredictable process. So this is a true development experience that we're also experiencing because we're getting to see it on a, on a weekly basis basically. Now they're changing the format of ATV to help explain where they are uh, with and what they're doing with 3.0. With all the studios working hard to get 3.0 out, they said that they've decided to suspend the weekly updates to as not distract the, uh, the developers. Starting next week, they are introducing a new section in ATV called Burndown, which allows us to be a, like a fly on the wall for some of their production meetings and hear directly from the devs Q and QA team about the weekly bugs, blockers and challenges. Now, ATV will keep the deep dive that we have already, the feature of the game, uh, and after 3.0 is released, they'll continue ATV as usual with the studio updates. They haven't released the updated schedule report just yet, but I will cover that in a separate video. But I have kind of mixed feelings about this. Firstly, I'm very grateful and very happy that uh, Chris Roberts has decided to address the obvious issues, which will hopefully calm the masses a little bit. But I do feel like this may mean that 3.0 is probably a little further away than we thought. But hey-ho, it's just the way it is. They are making it as good as they can get it, um, which is extremely important. And like Chris Roberts said, many new players will pick up the game uh, or rediscover it. And it needs to be good, because if it's not, it will start to this and will suffer greatly. Personally, I think that 3.0 uh, avocado testing is just around the corner. And, and once it hits the first wave of the PTU, the non-NDA wave, you'll be able to see the footage of it. I'll be putting out as much as I can. It is a shame that ATV will be missing the updates and things of the studios. But agreeably, 3.0 should take priority. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I think it was about time and I'm grateful that he has, Chris Roberts was uh, addressing this issue because the problem is the community starts blowing up and they need to be, it needs to be explained what's going on. So thank you, Chris, for that. Don't forget we're giving away a starter and starter package throughout the month of August, courtesy of my patrons. So be sure to subscribe and just comment on any video that I put out in August. We're giving away a Cyclone on Twitch currently. Uh, once we reach 3,500 followers, we'll give it away that day. So do head over there and hit that follow button. And also put your notifications on so you know when these videos and streams go live. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I shall see you next time, guys.